friends, I'm so excited. It is clematis season out here at Miller Flowers. All of our clematises in the flower beds are in full gorgeous bloom and they are beautiful. So I thought I would show you our clematises that are in bloom and just share with you some information on how to keep your clematis living all year and coming back the next. So behind me is this gorgeous Jack Manai clematis. So clematis does the best if planted in full six plus hours of sun per day. It can also take a little bit of part sun um, as well. So if you're getting only a half a day of sun, it will do fine in that location. But I would recommend finding a location that is full sun for your gorgeous clematis. So clematis do the best planted in good, well-drained soil. So when you go to purchase clematises, you will notice for the first year, your clematis really won't do a whole lot of anything. And that is pretty common for clematis. It takes them several years to fully get established and start getting to this point as this one right here. So if your clematis doesn't do anything the first year, don't fret. It will keep on growing and getting larger. So there's a popular saying with clematis, sun on the vine and shade on its root. So you want to make sure that you're planting something low growing around the base of your clematis. You can even put a stepping stone or a pot in front of it to help shade its roots and keep the roots cool during the summer heat here in Ohio. Go to prune clematis. You need to make sure you know what kind of clematis you are growing before pruning. Clematis blooms on new growth or old wood. It just really depends on the variety, again, um, that you are growing. Some variety you're gonna cut back in the spring and other varieties it's gonna be more towards the fall when you trim that clematis back. So if you are wondering, what kind of clematis do I have? This right here is a Jack Manai clematis and there's about three different varieties of clematis. So helpful way of knowing what kind of variety of clematis you are growing, check out its tag that came in the pot. If you had lost or have lost the tag, you can always take a picture of it and look it up on Google. Um, you can use Google Lens to search what kind of clematis you are gro growing. You can also send us a message with a picture and we can help you in deciding what kind of clematis you are growing. Again, knowing the variety of clematis you are growing is super helpful in knowing when to prune it back. As some, you're gonna prune back in early spring, like the Jack Manai, where we're gonna prune 12 inches down to the ground. Um, and other clematises, you're gonna barely prune at all. So knowing that is super helpful in having success with your clematises. So clematis are cold hardy in our area, which means they are a perennial in zone five, but we would just recommend protecting them from that cold winter wind. So all clematis needs a structure to climb on. Where you could use a trellis, you could do a fence, you could really do about anything for it to climb up and just giving it plenty of support as it climbs. Also mulch around the base of your clematis. Make sure that you don't bring your mulch too close up around your plant that you are suffocating the clematis. I know if you just planted clematis here in the spring, you wanna make sure that you are giving your clematis plenty of water throughout the growing season. So this growing season, it is crucial that you are soaking your clematis well, especially during our really hot days here in Ohio. Make sure you're soaking it well and giving it plenty of water. We get out, asked out here at Miller Flowers, why is my clematis wilting? Avoid wilt. Keep mulch from touching the stem and use sharp, clean tools when trimming your clematis. Clematis are fairly fragile, so you want to make sure that you're protecting your clematis from any breakage or any stems that will snap off. That also would cause wilt as well. So in case you're wondering how old this clematis is right here, well, I'm not really sure. I know that it's been around for a long time and it's been planted here for a while. So it is fairly old. But one thing I love about clematis is some of the first flowers to start blooming in our flower beds and it is gorgeous all summer long. Typically clematis bloom all the way up until frost, which is so beautiful. And I would say that clematis is probably one of my favorite, well, I have many favorite flowers, but it's definitely up there in the top. So that was my video on clematis. And I hope you enjoyed that. 
and I hope you enjoyed seeing all of our clematises around here. Um, I'm Caitlin Miller and I'm from Miller Flowers here in Greenville, Ohio. Please subscribe to our channel for more of this kind of content and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.